Bonsoir, bienvenue. I'm going to be presenting in English this evening. Welcome to the Marrakesh International Film Festival. My name is Andrea Picard and I'm part of the programming team. And I'm really pleased to be presenting this séance spéciale of About Dry Grasses by Nuri Bilg Ceylan, one of the great Turkish filmmakers and just one of the great filmmakers working today. Um, this is his ninth feature film. It premiered in Cannes competition earlier this year. It's his tenth film in total. And like all of his films, it is a deeply profound and philosophical work. Nuri Bilk Ceylan works about uh, the human condition and the dynamics between people and transformation, but in very subtle ways, and he uses the most beautiful dialogue in order to do so. And also incredible, beautiful images and mise-en-scene, which is why it's so important to see his films on the big screen. Um, the film is quite long, and necessarily so, for how it unravels. Uh, so there won't be a Q&A tonight, but we're very, very pleased to have a special guest with us. And it's my great pleasure to welcome the lead actress of the film, Merv Dizdar. Thank you so much for being so with us in Marrakesh. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Good evening. Uh, firstly, my English is not good. Uh, we will see. Uh, <laughs> thank you for your kind invitation. Uh, my, it's my first visit to Marrakesh. You understand? <laughs> Marrakesh and um, I wish, I hope so, and uh, I'll come again. Uh, and uh, thank you, um, beautiful, uh, beautiful organization, uh, beautiful city. Thank you for everything. Have a nice screening. <laughs> but we're not going to let you go just yet. So uh, unfortunately, we do not have a Turkish interpreter. I do not speak Turkish. And I um, I understand, but I don't speak. Which is more than I can say about my Turkish. Um, so we have devised a scenario in which I have asked questions in English and Merv will respond in Turkish and I will translate um, back to English. So um, as you may have heard me say, Nuri Bilz Ceylan is a wonderful, talented, intelligent filmmaker and it must have been such an experience working with him. And uh, you'll see tonight the dialogues are quite lengthy and incredible. What was that experience like? Firstly, I know Nurgi Ceylan, of course. Nurgi Ceylan'la çalışmak çok önemli bir ayrıcılıktı. Çünkü zaten hem Türkiye'de çok önemli bir yönetmen hem de dünyada önemli bir yönetmen. Bunun için kendimi çok şanslı hissediyorum. Bir de bence e, oyuncuya alan tanıyan bir yönetmen ve e, ezber kısmı e, tabii ki çok zordu. E, çünkü e, bence yani bir oyuncu olarak e, ezberin çok önemli olduğunu düşünüyorum zaten. Ve e, bir hocayla çalışmadan önce de ezberin çok iyi olması gerektiğini düşünüyordum. Bence oyunculardaki eksiklik ezberin var zannediyorlar ama aslında olmuyor. Adınızı söylediğiniz gibi olması gerekiyor. O yüzden Bilge Hoca ile bu anlamda çok iyi anlaştık, çok çalışmıştım. Ee, ve Bilge Hoca, Nur Bilge Hoca ile e, benim istediğimi yap, sonra da doğaçlarla yapabilirsin demişti ama doğaçlarla yapılamayacak kadar muhteşem bir senaryo vardı. Incredibly, I, I understood everything. <gülüyor> It was a privilege to work with Nur Bilge Hoca. He is a very... Um, important director, not only in Turkey, but also in the world. I prepared myself to do whatever the director wanted. I was very motivated for it. It was a very important for me to learn the dialogues by heart, memorizing something that seems easy at first, but learning all these dialogues by heart is the most difficult. What I call learning by heart should be like my name, surname, so that I do not get confused when the director says something or improvise. Nuri Bil Ceylan said, first do what the script wants, what I want, then what you can improvise. Since it was an incredible script, I couldn't find the strength to change the lines, but I tried it by changing the mood from time to time. We got a lot of repeats. Some of the scenes may have lasted three days, but that's the most beautiful thing in the world. 
In other words, giving such time to an actor is a great luxury and comfort. Nuri Bilik Ceylan creates a comfort zone for his players by giving them time. At least that's how it was for me. Wow, that was wonderful. <laughs> Before we let you go, uh, you have received many awards in your career already, but in Cannes you won the Best Actress Award, which is a phenomenal achievement. I'm wondering how that either changed your career or yourself as an artist, opened new paths. Swim. Çok büyük bir ödül kan ve böyle büyük önemli ödüllerde ödüllerde sadece kendiniz mutlu olamıyorsunuz. Yani e, çünkü ülkeme böyle bir ödülle gittiğim için öncelikle çok mutluydum. Ve sonra bir ödül, ya herkesin e, sevineceği bir ödül haline geldiği için kendinizi çok da düşünemiyorsunuz ve böyle bir e, işe yaradığınızı hissediyorsunuz. Ve bu ülkeniz adına bu çok çok önemliydi benim için. Sonralıkla da e, böyle içimde büyük bir boşluğun dolduğunu hissettim. Ee, ülkemde de çok önemli ödüller aldım. Ee, bunun için çok şanslıyım ve çok mutluyum. Ee, e, ama e, ödül sadece bir heykel. E, fakat onun a, onu anlam yükleyen e, biz oluyoruz. Yani aslında e, tek hissettiğim ve en çok hissettiğim e, şükran, thanks God, and şey, e, hikaye anlatmak, hikaye anlatmaya devam etmek. I will do my best to translate. First of all, it is an honor to return to my country with such an important award. Cannes was not an award where you could be happy alone. It was an award where you could be happy and rejoice together. I felt like I was serving something bigger. I realized once again how important my profession is. Then I realized what a huge void was filled inside me about myself, about life. At the end of the day, the rewards are the same, just a statue, but it changes with the meaning you add to it. I am fortunately an actor who has received important awards in my country, and I feel the same after every award, being grateful for my job and telling stories about people. I can see why Nuri Bilcelan <laughs> cast you. You're also very philosophical. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Eric from MyOnCinema.com. If you want to support us, subscribe below. For more reviews, interviews, film festival coverage from Sundance, Cannes, Toronto, you want to check out these guys on this side.